first we are going to make a head top to begin make a magic circle or magic ring for the head top i use 4.5 mm crochet hook Then make 6 single crochet into the magic circle After you got 6 single crochet, then pull a short string tight For row 2, we are going to make 2 single crochet into the same stitch by start from the first stitch of row 1 Don't forget to use stitch marker to mark the first stitch of row 2. Then we are going to increase into every stitches around until you got 12 stitches of single crochet. Row 3, remove the stitch marker, then make a single crochet into that stitch And don't forget to mark the first stitch every time you start new row Then we are going to make increase into the next stitch Repeat this around by make single crochet and then increase until you got 18 stitches. Row 4, remove the stitch marker, then make a single crochet into that stitch Remember, the stitch where we have marked, it is called a first stitch 
So we are going to make another single crochet into the next stitch. And then increase. Keep repeating this by make 2 single crochet and then increase around until you got 24 stitches. For row 5, make 3 single crochet and then increase Repeat this around until you got 30 stitches. For row 6, make 4 single crochet and then increase. Repeat this around until you got 36 stitches.
4 row 7 make 5 single crochet and then increase repeat this around until you got 42 stitches For the next row, we are going to repeat the same thing by always add one more single crochet. Example for this row, we have made 5 single crochet and then increase. So for the next row, we have to make 6 single crochet and then increase. Keep repeating this until you got 15 rows. So after you got 15 rows, it is equal 17 cm. It's the size of my head top. If you guys want it bigger, please add more rows, and if you want it smaller, please make less rows. Next, we are going to make a head side. For row 16 and row 17, make a single crochet into every stitches around the head. And now, after you have made single crochet around for 2 rows, then we are going to slip stitch and leave a long tail to keep for sewing. And cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make a Desi Granny Square. To begin, make a magic circle. And then, chain 2. Next, we are going to make 11 double crochet into that magic circle. So for chain 2, also count as a stitch. In total, you must have 12 stitches. And for the Desi Granny Square, I use 3.5mm hook. You can use the same hook or chain the hook like me. But I suggest you, for the square around the flower, you have to switch to 4.5mm hook because when I use 3.5mm hook, it's turned out that the square is a little bit small, so it's a bit tight around my head. After you got 12 stitches, then pull a short string tight.
Then we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make a parallel. To begin, attach the yarn. And chain 3. Then, we are going to make the ball crochet. To make the ball crochet for the parallel, yarn over. Insert the hook into the same loop with the chain 3 stitch. Yarn over and pull through off the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through off 2 loops. Again, yarn over. Insert the hook into the same loop. Yarn over and pull through off the loop. So now you have 4 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through off 2 loops. After you got 3 stitches on the hook, then yarn over and pull through all the loops. So chain 3 here also count as a stitch. Next, chain 2. Then we are going to make 3 double crochet into the same stitch. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through off the loop. Yarn over and pull through off 2 loops. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the same loop, yarn over and pull through off the loop. Yarn over and pull through off two loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the same loop, yarn over and pull through off the loop, and yarn over, pull through off two loops. So now you have three stitch on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Next, chain two. Then make 3 double crochet into the same stitch. Keep repeating this into every stitches around until you got 12 parallels.
And now after you got 12 petals, then we are going to slip stitch, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make the square around the flower. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 3. Then, make 2 double crochet into the same stitch with chain 3 stitch. So chain 3 here also count as the stitch, so you must have 3 stitches in the same loop. Next, we are going to chain 2, then make 3 double crochet into the same stitch. So this is the corner of the square. Next, we are going to make 3 half double crochet into the same stitch. After you got 3 half double crochet into the same stitch, then we are going to repeat again by make 3 half double crochet into the next stitch. And now after you got 2 groups of half double crochet, Next, we are going to make the corner of the square by make 3 double crochet into the same stitch. Then, chain 2 and then make 3 double crochet again into the same stitch. Keep repeating this around and then I will meet you back at the end of the row.
And now, after you reach the end of the roll, count three chains and then slip stitch. Chain one and cut off the yarn. For every size of the square, it has 14 stitches. And now I have made 5 more square, and then we are going to sew the square together. We are going to stitch it on the wrong side of the square. Remember, we only pick the front loop of the first square and then continue pick the back loop of the second square. Keep repeating this until the end of the roll.
Next, after you sew the square together, then we are going to connect the square with the head top. So in row 15 of this head top, there are 90 stitches of single crochet and there are 14 stitches per square. So 14 stitches multiply 6 squares equal 84 stitches and 84 stitches plus the stitch between each squares equal 90 stitches. So this is how I sew the head top and the granny square together. First, I pick the both loop of the head top and then continue pick the back loop only of the granny square. Repeat this into every stitches around until you reach the end of the row.
Next, we are going to make the brim. To begin, attach the yarn. And make 8 single crochet, then increase. Repeat this around until you reach the end of the row. And now, after you reach the end of the row, for row 2 and row 3, we are going to make single crochet into every stitches around. And don't forget to use stitch marker to mark the first stitch. Row 4, we are going to make 5 single crochet and then increase. Repeat this around until you reach the end of the row and then I will meet you back again.
four or five make 10 single crochet and then increase keep repeating this into every stitches around until the end of the row And then for row 6 until row 8, we are going to make single crochet into every stitches around the head. Next, after you reach row 8, then slip stitch and cut off the yarn. I'm going to attach the new color and continue make single crochet into every stitches around the head. Then slip stitch and cut off the yarn. For row 10, we are going to repeat the same thing as row 9. If you want the brim longer, please add few more rows. Thank you. 
And now your Desi bucket head is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on notification bell so you will notify when I post the video. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.